what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys for tuning in for another um episode for the pregnancy series episode number three um these videos when i start making them my husband is unfortunately would not be part of them because he can't really or say anything you know what i mean this is for my mamas out there thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing I'm just assuming you're gonna subscribe and like and comment down below um whatever you know let's let's get into this video so as you can tell by this title for episode number three we're gonna talk about the pre symptoms before um I found out I was pregnant so pretty much to me it's kind of like pre pregnancy symptoms were really not because I was already pregnant but I didn't want to put it with the first trimester because honestly these symptoms was like two weeks before I start having first trimester um, symptoms so let's talk about I have a note let's talk about the first signs of pregnancy for me uh, before I start I'm um, talking about those videos I just want to let everybody everyone out there that's watching this Please remember every pregnancy is different, everyone is different, so you might not experience the same thing I experience. At the end of the day, I'm just out here making video. If you are experiencing the things that I experience, so you know that it's okay. You are not the only one, trust me. Wait for my first trimester, everything went downhill. Okay? <laughs> so, so let's talk about the first sign. So the first, very first thing, I didn't know it was related to pregnancy. I just thought it was related to my cycle. It was cramping. Um, I used to get very bad cramps when my period is coming. So when I, like I said on my video when we found out we were pregnant, I thought that my period was coming. So I was having really, really bad cramping in my lower abdomen and I just like, damn, like what is going on? This blood need to just ripping you know come on now i'm ready just come on but obviously it wasn't that um the second thing is sleepy y'all that kind of rolled into my first trimester which i'll talk about how i slept for 24 hours one day but i was so sleepy like i wasn't working at that time because of covid I wasn't working on the regular because of COVID, so I would go in and come back home and, you know, like, drop in, do what I have to do in the office, and then go home and work from home from there on. But I would go home and just lay on the couch and sleep. And my husband like, what's wrong with you? Why are you so sleepy? I would just sleep. Just sleep, 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 sleep. Um, the next thing was, I guess it go along with being sleepy is tired. It's because I was sleeping because I, I felt I felt tired. Like, I was just, like, defeated. Like, I, I need to sleep. I just felt like my body was, uh, someone just was beating me up the day before, so I need to go to sleep. That's why. Um, the next thing is headaches. I don't really get headache. Um, this actually would come back. On my next video but I don't really get headache and I was having this little headache and I was just like oh where does headache come from but I didn't want to take anything for it because I thought it was related to me being tired and sleeping so you know I just kind of tie it all in together and thought it was just like you know I'm just tired um, which I didn't understand because I wasn't working that much um, I was stressed a little bit because we were getting ready to leave Texas to come to Germany so of course I thought that play a factor as well um but it wasn't now this is something that not everyone get in the first my camera died y'all but I'm back anyway so what was I <clears throat> oh so the next one is not everyone experienced this right in the beginning. Usually people say they experience this end of the second trimester, the third trimester because of the weight that they have gained throughout the pregnancy. But me, y'all, I had back ache from maybe the day, the day the egg started, the, the little thing went in there. <laughs> I don't really know you better not to be like that. But, you know, when the little 
uh, sperm just go in and then, then they meet up with the egg. And I think that moment, from that moment, the fetus merged together, I started having back pain. Because I remember having back pain for weeks. Weeks. And I didn't find out I was pregnant until I was like six weeks. So, I mean, one plus one equals two. I kind of just added up together. The next one, I was bloating. Um, if you don't know me, I was a very, very petite person, which I am still am. So, when my stomach get a little big, it's very uncomfortable. So, I felt bloat, like I was bloating. Like, I was just, like, I just felt f my stomach was just big. And then, not only that, it was like, I can't suck it in. Because, you know, us females, we be able to suck it in. If I suck it in, it kind of hurt a little bit. So, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's one of the <laughs> symptoms. And the last one is, I mentioned this on my previous video. Is my skin glowing? Like, I'm not gonna lie. I did notice how my my skin just started glowing out of nowhere. But then again, I had just got a facial done because it was my wedding. And uh, um, when I got back to Texas, I did another mask. So I just thought it was that. But no, actually, my face, my skin was glowing. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even trying to gas myself up. But I remember my best friend's like, yo, what's up with you? Like your feet, your face is glowing, da, da, da. And I'm just like, girl, girl, ain't it nothing but a little mask that I didn't the other night. But she's like, no, like you're glowing. But I'm not gonna lie, I always have, um, I always had, um, what do you call it? Not pimples, but I always had, always had like skin breakout right here on this specific side and I haven't had a breakout over here since August. Since August. And I got pregnant in August, so. I'm glowing. But yeah, um, these were my first signs of pregnancy and for me, for me, I'm gonna remind you, for me, okay? These were the first thing that when I found out I was pregnant, I kind of look back and like, oh, that's why this, this, this was happening. And I knew that I was going to end up making YouTube videos. So I wrote them down on my phone and I did the same thing for my first trimester. And um, I will be making that video next week. It's coming. Up. Um, My first trimester so that I could keep up and then tell you guys like stuff that's actually happened and I'm not trying to remember. But yeah, I wrote, I wrote, those were the first signs and I got what, first trimester, Lisk is coming and uh, I'm on my second trimester right now which is ending in like two weeks. I got that list going as well. So once I hit the third, third trimester, I will be having that list going as well. Everyone telling me third trimester is the longest. Um, to me, I feel like the second was, was the longest because, I mean, it is initially, if you really look at the pregnancy chart or whatever. I've been doing a lot of readings about pregnancy, y'all. I did not know pregnancy was actually 10 months, not no 9 months, but okay. We're going to talk about that after. Um, but that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. If you are pregnant, please comment down below what was your first sign that you started to think like, yo, maybe I'm pregnant. Because after, I'm not going to lie, after feeling crampy, sleepy, cr I had cramp, sleepy, I was always tired. I kind of like was like, hmm, am I pregnant? I did question myself, but then I did refrain from actually trying to like make myself believe that I was pregnant because I really thought I wasn't. Because, you know, I mean, if you don't know, go watch my, go watch my video how we found how me and my husband found out I was pregnant and you'll understand what I'm trying to say but anyway so comment down below um what was your first sign what gave it away that you were pregnant and um and I would love to comment I love I love answering comment I do interact with all my subscribers because I do not have a lot so I don't see why not 
um i am here and if you have suggestions for more pregnancy videos let me know down below and i will do them and thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time on my next video bye